What is up, Florida for Hunter World? We're out here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Grand Nationals, and we've got who do we have here? Who are you guys? CJ Leonard, Dan Houston. And what are what, what do you guys do? You told me a bit about it, but we like to build old trucks and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, video done. No, who doesn't? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't? Uh, you said something about you drag race. You guys race stuff. You... Yeah, I grew up racing, uh, drag race. I decided to get out of it for a little while. Yeah. And I built this old truck. We put a good sized turbo V8 with a six speed in it. And, uh, yeah. Like to drive it and get as many miles on it as we can. We drive our stuff and try not to try to. What much. size turbo? It's a '92 110 VS Racing. Ooh, wow. I like these wheels, man. I hooked us up at Odin on those. Me and Dan both run them. Yeah. Uh, super good goofer guys up there. They really, really, really they got some give us a good deal. Offsets for the Crown Big swaps. Yes. Okay, I was very popular. Ask you this Crown Big. That's, yeah. that's how CJ. CJ's the he's a drift racer, drag racer. Well, I drifted. Fun, isn't of, it? A lot of cool stuff. I've never done it with a V8 though. So we just got connected. He was looking. Uh, we got another buddy that, that does parts. He does a lot of F100 parts, and so I started building Crown Big swaps because mm -hmm. kind of found a niche where some of the nicer shops obviously mm -hmm. charge a lot of money to get it done. Right. Long lead times. Um, take a lot of pride in what I do, so we just kind of I saw there was a demand, and uh, so Huey Fab was created a little LLC and do Crown Big swaps, C notch kits. Um, you know, wiring to code digital gauges. You know, just just some of the stuff that some people may not have the comfortability and skill set to do. That's good. And because uh, so there is there is that divide. Yeah, there, there is. There's, there's, there's a huge gap there. Yeah. And there's a niche market for people who are like, that's something I could build in my garage if I had the tools and the skills. Right. Well, we do, and it's it's moonlight. It's a weekend deal. And CJ and I met through that, and he's uh he's been a a, a big advocate of, of getting the Huey name out there. And, Sweet. Uh, he'll slap a sticker on a truck and, and drift <laughs> around light poles all day. All the uh, advertisement you need, so dude's a wheel man. Don't uh, let him fool there you. might be examples of that, uh, yeah. posted already. Oh, yeah, yeah. potentially yeah. some evidence of that on the interwebs <laughs> as we speak. That's exactly what it is. So, tell me more about the truck here. Uh, what, what year did you say it was? It's a 69 67 front end, yeah. Uh, it's nine inch out back, 40 spline axles, uh, chrome ollie, cow tracks. Uh, so you went cow tracks, huh? Yeah, so, cow tracks. They hooked me up on the cow tracks. Which which ones are you like? What suspension in regards to running? I mean, they actually built them for this truck with leaf springs. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. So it worked out really good. They work really well. Uh, How would you compare them to, to to three link or four link or something? I've had four link stuff. Uh, there's some really fast guys running cow tracks, and they actually work very well. I would if I in was drag on a low racing? budget on a low budget, even on the street, they work good. Huh. Uh, it, it does it does really well they're hitting um, they're hitting under here guys <laughs> i've got the qa1 uh adjustable full adjustable gas shocks in the back and andrew peterson hooked me up with some cool overs in the front uh with dan he done my and huey fab he done all the all the frame stuff for me and man it drives great uh i run a few z06 vets and stuff like that with it and we just it's fun it's on all holly ef5 Digital dash. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, it gives you everything you need. Uh, it's got everything. You can. Holly really done. They've done a great job. I mean, you can change. I'm sure everybody's seen Holly, but you can make it look like whatever you want. It has all the data you'll ever need. Uh, I actually run the Dominator setup on this. Yeah. Uh, it's all CO2 controlled boost. It all controls through the Dominator. Um, it's uh, wow. it's all tucked away in there. It's pretty nice. Uh, on 32 pounds, it made a little over 1,100. On 32 pounds, and it's just it's just a bunch of junk, but it's it's fun, you know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the EFI is just like because everyone tries to modify certain things. Certain, like for example, I got. A, one of those tanks and I want to hide it but guess what that freaking fuel sender the sender unit doesn't work with my four gauges and so yeah. on and so forth so it's just yeah. easy just to go all actually, that you know? I actually run Holly's big pump on this truck and I had to have dual feeds and it actually worked better running the tank higher so they was gravity fed more to the pump and I run on E85 so it's interesting see I'm running out of my keg not E85 but yeah I run out of my keg and boy that gravity feed man like yeah. it needs it even though they say it doesn't you know sure. Cool. But you got a great truck, man. I kind of want to hear it. What do you she think? Moves, what, 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 what exhaust you got? Five inch downpipe. Five inch straight exhaust. Mandrel bent five inch. 
Are we gonna blow everybody out behind you? Yeah, I'll get over there. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's the 85. Woo! Oh my gosh. It's a Windsor, people. That's... <laughs> All right, what do you got, man? I want to see We're over here. Yeah, I got 67. Go. Uh... Yeah, you're going to have to speak louder okay. now, okay? Yeah. You speak loud. Did it bust the eardrums on the monitor? <laughs> What'd you say? Huh? Uh -huh. Can't hear you. Come again. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is Frank. This is the, the 67 farm truck I pulled out of uh, out of a barn lean-to in 2017 outside of Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. Um, brought the truck home. I knew what I wanted to do with it. You know, Crown Big swaps were getting popular. Yeah. Um, cheaper. So yeah, yeah. Away. Well, they were actually cheaper now than they are. Yeah. Uh, cheaper then than they are now because you know so many people are pulling them out of the junkyard. Yeah. Um, so I knew where I wanted to go with it, and, and you know, Outcast and Andrew and a lot of people were just coming. Oh, I love Outcast, dude. Yeah, he's awesome. And, they, and this was, you know, this is four years ago, so yeah. that was still pretty new. And, um, you were one of the ones that called him and said, "Hey, can you make me some set?" Because I, that's how he got to start. Was just people yeah, like yeah. You, well, you know? it was, you know, you could see what you know. Okay, I can get motor mounts. Yeah. I got options. So I need to put one more thing in the video. Yeah. This is his new AKA is Professor Xavier, just so you know. Does anybody have a wheelchair? Uh, <laughs> no, okay. Miracles do happen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just, I knew I wanted it to be low. So I, I put it together once, kept the uh, the FE motor in it, and it, it had a C6 in it yeah. when I got it. What, what does just, it have now? Uh, it's a 4.6 out of a 2006 cop car, um, 4 75. It's got an 88, a built 88 rear out of a 98 to 02 bit. Um, and it's it's got a two and a half inch frame Z in the front, ride tech coilovers. It's uh, axle flipped in the back with the 88 and the front purchase flipped. Um, you happy top. with the 88? Is it handling everything you yeah, can throw at yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you saw last night. It's like, <laughs> a little bit, it, yeah. It'll spin both tires. You guys need to see that video. I might, I might just put a quick little snip bit in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so That's cool. It's a... Uh, it's got a 14 gear in it, which helps the 4.6 a lot in terms of uh, getting the tire spinning. Man, those uh, seats look comfy. Yeah, that's a Snowden. Snowden Custom Seats out of Texas. Wow. You know, he's a big C10 guy, but um, I made brackets, got it in the F100. Dakota Digital Gauges, uh, Vintage Air AC. That's great. Uh, forever Sharp. You need to stay cool while you're doing the burnouts. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. So it's just a just old beat up farm truck with an updated chassis underneath it looks good moving i like your wheels what are those those are uh same brand as what's on the other truck those are odin dso8s awesome. 19 I, by 11. i want to do this so bad yeah works works pretty good does really good for blowing tire smoke <laughs> I bet. Yeah. The that's true i don't yeah. think about that yeah if you go back to the video you posted you know, i was looking at it and you can see as the cloud builds and when it hits the exhaust it just starts pushing it out. That's what makes it sort of yeah. Make it, it starts yeah. this vortex of you, tire smoke. You need to screenshot that, man. Yeah, it really yeah. just makes some good yeah, videos. That's, that's cool. So tell me about this a little bit more. I know you didn't, haven't really done anything to it, but <laughs> no, it's just a stock four six. It's running it, on the PCM. It, do, it does good burnouts, but does yeah. it do anything else? Yeah, no, it's, it's <laughs> you know I haven't. Uh, I think we're entertaining going to a racetrack tonight yeah. just to kind of see what we can get done. And did you say it was a two valve or three valve? It's a two valve. Two valve. Um, now at home, I have another chassis I've built for this truck. Yeah. Um, it's four link. It's a five four four valve out of a Navigator with the Australian Falcon Boss intake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Long tubes. Um, plans for it are a little uh, Pro Charger D one, some comp cams, four valve, five four. Got to make Coyote power with a little more torque and just just be a little different than what you're seeing right now. Wait, which engine? This one? The one that's I've got for this. I've got another chassis built to swap this body Wait, over. Which engine did you say it was again? It's a 544 valve. 
Okay, yeah, um, so uh, Franklin Watson, yeah. have you heard of him? Yeah. He has a three valve, and yeah. he says that with a supercharger, he's producing more, yeah. uh, if not the same for less money, sure. horsepower torque, because sure. the Coyote is higher compression. Yeah. And these are lower compression, yeah. these yeah. modular motors. So yeah, that's the, cool, uh, man. I mean, you got the one the, I've got is nine and a half to one compression ratio. Yeah. And, um, plan to run 12, 14 pounds of boost on it. What's that? What, what, do you, what do you say that was going to produce you? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping you know, somewhere between five and six hundred. We'll find yeah. out. Yeah, we'll, we'll find the, out. Hey, do you have a, like a social media that people? Yeah, can yeah. So my personal or? is uh, at Danman two two four. Instagram. That's the Instagram, and then uh, the the shops page is at Huey Fab H U E Y F A B. Uh, my Facebook, no truck stuff, just my kids. So yeah, not not a good spot to see truck content there for me. <laughs> do you have anything else? Any other socials dot com? No, no, that's it. Last but not least, uh, I have a question. What does that? What does a homer mean on the side of your homer hooch? Homer's what they called my dad up in the mountains for many years, so that's how it got its name. I, wa I wonder what he was doing in the mountains. Uh, you know I mean? I've heard they had some good corn liquor up that way. <laughs> that's awesome. Do you have a Instagram or anything? Yeah, it's uh, my Instagram is actually 69 Bumpside and CJ Leonard on Facebook. CJ Leonard, yeah, right? whiskey hey. been racing. Hey guys, check these guys out. They've got some great footage. Sounds like they got some cool stuff coming down the road here. I'm kind of interested uh, to see what dyno you get out of that four valve. Yeah. Said. That, yeah. That's gonna that's totally gonna be interesting. It's gonna be cool. That's cool. Uh, do you mind if I shut the hood? No, not at all. Thanks guys.